Hi everyone, today I thought I'd do another collection video as then oh, Oliver, what are you doing to Dumbledore? I've been doing a lot of like rewriting things in my Kelly albums on Flickr and I thought I would make a video showing you all of my Kelly play sets because I have quite a few. I have a lot more Kelly furniture in general than what you're going to see in this video because a lot of dolls were sold with like little furniture pieces but these are the actual like separately sold play sets that I'm going to show you. Um, I have additional pictures of these play sets and their accessories on my Flickr if you're interested in seeing um, more information about them. I really, really loved Kelly dolls when I was younger. Um, when I was really little, they were more Colleen's thing, even though we got our first Kelly dolls together. But then by the time I was 10, she was bored of Kelly and gave me all of her stuff, and then I built up my own collection. So a lot of what you're going to see here was Colleen's when we were really little, which later became mine, and then a lot of it is stuff that I got later when I was like 10, 11, 12. And I have gotten a few things that are really cool as an adult too. I just love the Kelly line in general. It's really cute. They made all kinds of fashion packs and play sets, so it was just really great to like spark your imagination. Without further ado, let's get to it. So starting over here, um, these are just arranged kind of by similar play set, not by year order. This is I believe it's the 2002 classroom and it uses many of the same pieces from this original um, the Kelly daycare so this was my playset growing up I got this right around the time I first got into Kelly dolls and this is one of my favorite pieces will you stop eating things stop it stop this was one of the first things that I got for my Kelly dolls around that time frame. I think I got it in like spring of 2003. I really loved it because I loved Colleen's daycare over here when we were kids, but that was in really bad shape by that point in my life. So this is like the little chalkboard thing and it has shelves and little drawers you can pull out and then I love how the sides here had the alphabet. And then it came with a teacher desk, which I really liked, which Colleen and I used all the time, even if we weren't playing with this whole set. We would use it as just like a desk in one of our doll's rooms. And then it has these really adorable cubbies, and the doors do open, and you can put things inside, which I loved. I used to just use this in my Kelly bedroom. Oliver, will you stop destroying things? Stop it, girl I'm sorry, he's really hyper right now. And then there's this little kitchen, um, kitchenette thing, which is adorable. I love this. This was probably my favorite piece from this set because it, it's just so cute and realistic. And it was nice and tiny, so I could put it in my Kelly doll's bedroom. And then there's this rocking horse. And then these two desks here are the same mold as the one sold with Teacher Barbie from 1995, which is really cute. So I like how there's actually like a classroom setup. And this came with all kinds of really interesting pieces. I'll insert a picture here. I really liked the plants especially. Uh, my dolls always had lots of plants in their house, but that's probably because in real life I I cannot keep a plant to save my life. I always end up killing them by accident. This got used all the time. I mean admittedly I probably didn't use it as a classroom, but I did use individual pieces um, for different things. So then this is the, I believe it's the 1996 daycare. And this was the very first Kelly playset that Colleen ever got. I remember I helped her pay for it with my allowance money. This was something she really, really wanted. It's very haggard, and um, a lot of its original pieces are highly discolored, which you'll see in a minute when I insert the picture. Luckily, I do have some extra pieces to this. This was a very, like good selling playset in general. So over the years of the flea market I have found like non-discolored things. So like this is the train. This is not the original one that came with my set. I do have it but that one's gone all orange. It's really cute. Uh, we didn't really use the trains all that much. I mean just to like store Kelly stuffed animals in. Then there's this little house which is so adorable and the door opens. It's very realistic which I like. It was something I used to like using in the yard. The doll's yard. And then there's this table, which was my favorite piece that I played with all the time. I have extras of these chairs, and I just really like how sturdy everything is. 
I have like another set of tables and chairs for Kelly from a different play set, but this one's a lot sturdier. And then this is like the same style chalkboard there. You can see that it also has the alphabet pieces. Um, it's just different colors and the cardboard thing is in really bad shape. And what I liked about this one is it had a little like sink connected to it. So there's supposed to be a cardboard base that inserts into this bottom, but that got ruined a long time ago. So I'm just propping it up here. I used to use like a handle of a paintbrush or something to keep this up when I played with it. But I really liked the sink because it looked like something you'd really find in like a daycare or like a kindergarten class and even came with a stool. And then that's the same style kitchenette thing. So again, we used like all of these pieces rather often. Sometimes I'd connect these two and make it into like one big school. This is the uh, Kelly Playland. So this is actually something I got as an adult. This is probably the newest playset I'm going to show you, like in terms of what I got for my collection. I actually got this for free. So I want to say it was in 2015. Teen, there was this person at the flea market who had a big box of like doll furniture parts and when Colleen asked how much they were the seller said that her husband would be mad if she came home <laughs> with those playset pieces again and she just gave them to us so a lot of those things weren't complete they were just like pieces however this entire playland was in there and this is really awesome because I have a vague memory of this being in stores it's so realistic it looks like a real playground it's got all of these different features you can see like there's little toys and there's a ball pit in here which I'll show you there's like a slide I love this rope thing there's the ball pit in there then on this side there's a little bit like there's a little driver station there's a clock there's just so many different little pieces and nifty things to do with this set. I would have had a lot of fun playing with this as a kid. Um, the only thing is it's really hard to put together. It's very confusing. Luckily the Mattel website still had the like directions for this that I was able to print out but I really really love this playground. I think it's very realistic and I love the bright colors of it. It would also be fun to like use as um, like a McDonald's play area like they used to have when I was a kid. This is Oliver. Hi. You can say hi? Okay, this is the all-around home <laughs> bedroom play set. I believe there's two different versions of this, so I got this as an adult as well. This was actually still brand new when I got it. Um, I think I got it for like $5, but everything was still sealed, but the box was a little bit destroyed. I really like this. This came with some super awesome toys, and then everything kind of folds up, compact, so you could make it into like a shelf instead of a bed, and it has you know different toys and things. I also love the little desk here. I think it came with like a little laptop thing you could put put on there and all the storage space and the other side is actually all storage space too. That was something I really liked about the All Around Home series. This is probably my favorite of all of my play sets. This is the Kelly Playroom from 2002. This was again one of the first things I bought when I got back into, when I got into Kelly dolls. And this is probably my most used of them all. I really, really love this set. So there's this big cabinet here, the doors do open, but it had these adorable little stairs, this like stool thing, and this drawer on the bottom opened, and you can put things in the side. There was like a doll crib and another rocking horse. I like how this one's sturdier than the one from that play set. This is my other table and chairs. I love the look of this, but it does come apart so that it makes it feel a little bit like more lightweight. And then this is a really awesome kitchen place. It makes the other ones look like a joke. The cabinets actually open under here and it has a sink and a stove top. I used to like be able to put a ton of my Kelly dolls dishes in here. And this also came with a ton of toys. It even had like, don't chew my hair, stop it. It also came with a ton of like board games for the dolls, which was really fun. And then this was Colleen's favorite thing. This is like the mini Barbie house. There was even a mini Barbie sold with this. It's so cute. Thank you. Um, Colleen stole the Barbie a lot for her Stacy dolls. <laughs> Oliver, stop it. Okay, do you mind? Stop. Stop. These two sets here, you'll notice, are very similar. They're pretty much the same thing, just in different colors. So this is the original one. This is the 1997 My Very Own Nursery set. This was the first bedroom we had for our Kelly dolls. 
I think Colleen bought this with her allowance and it's faded for that reason you can see it's like got a broken handle but I love the changing table this was definitely one of my most used things and it also has this really big compartment to store toys in I used to put my blocks in there for the dolls and it came with some really simple but cute accessories there was this nice big roomy tub and then this is the crib this is my favorite crib for Kelly because it's nice and roomy and it does come apart for storage and the mobile is really cute and then it has like that same kind of rocking horse these are not the best quality the handles tend to snap off as you can see here um, I had, had re-glued them too but they fell off in storage So this is the same thing as that one, however I got this one second hand. I got this one I was like 11, I remember finding it in an indoor flea market and the lady was super nice. Um, she gave me like a heart shaped Barbie box that had a bunch of dolls shoes and purses in it with this set. Even though I told her it didn't go with the set, she said oh just to be sure. So that was really nice, I still have all that stuff too and it came with like the same sorts of accessories just in different colors. I personally prefer the look of these colors. It's really fun. I played with this a lot. Then this is the Kelly Playground. So this is something Colleen bought. Um, and she played with it a lot. So there's this really cool tree house. And this table folds up. I like how it actually looks like a tree. And there's this really neat swing. Um, and then there's another one of those trains. But it has less carts. This is the seesaw. And I loved the sandbox. I'm not going to lie. I probably played with the sandbox more than anything else. It's the simple things. I, I liked very realistic looking like Kelly setups. So I, I especially liked this. And it has this really adorable merry-go-round that has little animals. I actually have some duplicated pieces to this as well, which is nice. This was a lot of fun. I remember I had this set up outside my uh, Kelly doll's bedroom a lot. And then this is the pop-up playhouse. This is it all folded out. I'll put a picture of what it looks like folded up here. It's very, very faded and disgusting looking and I apologize for that. So there's um, quite the story behind this. This was Colleen's. I remember the commercials for this, like she was so excited when this came out and we ended up having to like save our allowance money for this. Colleen got this and then I got Generation Girl in the Shell. And I remember the day we went to pick them out at Toys R Us together. It was like a big deal and when we got home I got to play with Michelle and she got to play with this pop-up playhouse. But honestly she found it kind of overrated because it wasn't super realistic. I think I probably played with it more honestly in retrospect. but. It is really cute. Um, I used to use it as like a treehouse thing for my dolls. So this bed folds up into a little chair and it's got all these adorable stickers. I love the vanity thing. I played with that a lot. I, a lot of times I had this out of the house. And then it has like different shelves. It's got stairs, which I like it when play sets have stairs. It has this little slide here and the door actually opens. This is the table. That sticker is not supposed to be on it. I think Colleen just put it on there. Then there's this rocking horse, and then there's this little like schoolroom area. This is the mailbox. That's really cute. And then there's the swing, which never stays where it's supposed to. Stickers are really beautiful. I think the thing that kind of detracted Colleen from playing with it more is that it's hard to get like your hands in here with dolls. And then last but not least, this is the Kelly Petting Zoo. So this is something I had as a kid. Dad actually surprised me with this for Christmas in 2003. We got a bunch of doll stuff off eBay that year. Dad thought that I would really enjoy this set, especially because I've always loved animals, and it came with a bunch of really adorable like animals. I honestly didn't play with this a whole lot, but looking at it, I don't know why I didn't use it more because it's super cute. I love the fence, and it actually, like, unconnects here so you can position the fencing how you want it and it had like a mama duck and a baby duck and you could actually like put the duck in the egg and make it hatch it has like a trough here all kinds of like different things for the animals to do my favorite thing has to be the little feeder and there's actually little pellets that you can put in here and um, when you like push this down the pellets come out so you can make Kelly feed the animals this is really special just because my dad bought it for me and I do really love animals, so it's just, it's so sweet. Like I said, if you want to see pictures of these or you want to read 
um, more information about like the accessories and stuff, feel free to check out my Flickr. I have an album just for Kelly play sets. I will link it below. And until next time, love your dolls, love yourself, and love your life.